Hi class one and two, it's Friday and do you know what we're going to do today? We're going to do some PE, that's right, because when we do exercise, it makes us feel really good, doesn't it? It keeps us healthy, but it also makes us happy. So we're going to do some exercises together today. But do you know what I've forgotten to do? I forgot to get ready. So I've got some things here that I need to put on before we begin. Okay, let me have a look. What have I got? Yes, I've got my, do you remember this? This is my bright yellow jacket because it makes me feel sporty. So I'm going to pop that on. You've got anything today that you are going to wear. And last time we did this, I got inspired um, by Huddy actually. Um, now Huddy, he decided to wear a cap. So that's what I found a cap and I've been inspired. So I am going to put my cap on like that. Let me sort my hair out. There we go, so that fits like that. So I'm gonna wear my cap like hoodie, and I think today that will do. I think I'm ready today. That will do for me. Okay, so I hope you're wearing something sporty today. Now I'm gonna do something slightly different today. You will see on your screen, as well as me, there is something else on your screen. Now we are gonna use this in some of our PE lessons, and this is our active challenge spinner. And we are gonna use this and it's gonna help us decide what um, exercises and activities we are going to do. So I'm just gonna show you it as um, an example, just for you to get used to. So uh, bear with me. So I'm gonna click on the start here. And as you can see, there is a spinner on the screen and there are five exercises on the spinner. And you can see there are some little pictures. Now on the red bit, there's a little girl and she's doing some press-ups. Oh dear, we might have to do some press-ups today. And then on the blue bit, there is somebody doing some star jumps. On the purple bit, we've got some mountain climbers. Now we did those last time, so you might remember what those are, mountain climbers. Then on the green bit, it's upside down, but it says leg raises. Now I'm gonna show you how to do those because we've not done those before. And then we're gonna do some squats. And in PE, I sometimes get you to do some squats, don't I? So you have done those with me before. So um, we'll do those together today. And we're gonna spin the wheel and see what it lands on and then we've got to do what it says but we'll do it all together so i'll be doing it too and maybe your brothers and sisters and parents can do it too you can drag them along and they can do it too that would be fun wouldn't it yes okay but before we do that what have we got to do before we do any exercise we've got to warm up our muscles haven't we so we're going to warm up our muscles so i want you to find a space and I want you to make a really wide shape. Can you make a wide shape? I tell you what, I'm gonna try and make my legs really wide. I think some of you can probably go lower than me actually. So I'm trying to make a wide shape. And with your arms, I want you to make some circles. We're gonna make some circles like that. That's right now, big circles. Stretch those muscles. That's right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, good. Now we've made a wide shape, we're now gonna make a tall shape. And my arms have got off the screen, haven't they? Never mind. But make a tall, really tall shape, as tall as you can on your tippy toes. Good, now I want you to put your legs just about shoulder width apart, and I want you to go down as low as you can. Go down as low as you can and feel that stretch there at the back of your legs. That's really good, well done. Now we are going to try and balance on one leg. Can you balance on one leg? Can you lift it up and can you give it a hug? Can you hug it? Can you keep your balance and not get wibbly wobbly? Squeeze it into your tummy. Squeeze it in and release. And we're going to do the next one. We're going to lift it up slowly. We're going to grab our knee and see if you can lift it up and squeeze it. Can you even get your chin to touch your knee without wibbly wobbling? And if you wibble wobble, I want you to lean on a wall 
or maybe get an adult to help you. Maybe they could hold you and then see if you can lift it up there and hold them onto a wall like that. That's really good. Now, some of us have weak ankles. Lots of children in PE have weak ankles. So what I find it's very important to do is just go round and round with your ankles because we don't want anybody getting hurt today. So round and round with your ankles. And we'll do the other one as well. Round and round. So twist your ankles round. That's right. Round and round and round. That's really, really good. Now we're a bit more warmed up. Let's just shake those shoulders a little bit. We're a bit more warmed up. We're now going to do our running. But no, we're not going to run around the room. And we can't run around the hall for our three minutes, can we? So we are going to be jogging on the spot. But I'm going to tell you to be turning different ways. And it might be that I tell you to do some different things with your hands whilst we're running. Okay? So I'm going to put some music on. I hope you're going to hear the music. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of running to get our heartbeats going. Okay? Let's put that music on. All right. Are you ready? Are you steady? We're going to start running. Ready? Go. with our what I call strength exercises. So your heart might not go boom, 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 boom with these exercises, but what these exercises do is they strengthen your muscles, which is really good to keep healthy. It's good to keep our heart healthy, and it's good to keep our muscles healthy and strong, isn't it? So what I think I'm gonna do first of all is I'll spin the spinner, and whatever it lands on, I'm going to show you first what I want you to do before we do it. So you've got to watch and I'll show you what to do. Okay, shall I spin the spinner? I hope this works. Let's give it a go. And it says spin it, so I'm going to spin. Oh, spinning. Oh, okay. 
it's landed on leg raises. And the number, can you see what number it is? Is five. So we've got to do five leg raises. So I'm going to show you what to do and then we'll do it all together. So just watch me this time. So watch carefully. So I've got to lie on the floor on my back. Hopefully you can see me. Okay, I'll move up a bit. There we go. And then with your legs nice and straight. Oh, my cap's falling off. I'll have to take it off. Um, legs nice and straight. Sometimes you can put your hands underneath your back like that to help you. So put your hands underneath your back or underneath your legs to help you. I'm going to lift our legs up, but keeping them really straight and not too fast. We're going to do it nice and slowly, but you've got to keep your legs together and you've got to keep them straight. Right, are you ready? Because you lie on the floor, okay? Lie on the floor, put your hands underneath your bottom or underneath your back. Okay, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna do five. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. One, two, three, four, Last one, five. Woo, I felt that in my tummy muscles, I did. Where's my cap gone? I'm gonna put my cap back on, put my cap back on. There we go, I've got my cap back on. Okay, right, shall we try something else? Now what we can do down here, I don't know if you can see on your screen, but it says either resume or eliminate. And I'm gonna eliminate the leg raises, so it's not gonna actually land on the leg raises again. So there it goes, it's disappeared. Right, we're gonna spin it. There's four left, you ready? Let's go. Ooh. Oh, I think you know this one. It's landed on star jumps. How many have we gotta do? We've gotta do 10. I don't think I need to show you how to do star jumps, do I? We do these quite a lot, don't we? So we're going to stand up, and we're going to make a big wide shape, aren't we, whilst jumping. We've got to do 10. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that wasn't too bad, was it, that one? So we've done that one, so we can eliminate that one. Say bye-bye, star jumps. Bye-bye, there it goes. What have we got left? So we're gonna spin it, spin. Oh dear, I don't like these ones. Okay, we've gotta do some press-ups. Now with this one, I'm gonna show you what to do because I do these a little bit different and I would like to show you how I do it. Okay, so you've gotta watch me really carefully. Now we've only got to do five, so that's not too bad. Um, today we've only got to do five. It might be another week I actually get you to do more than five, but today we're going to do five. So if you watch me, okay, I'm going to lie on the floor, okay, so that my tummy's on the floor and my hands, if you can see me, are by the side of me, but my tummy's on the floor. So what we're going to do is lift ourselves up, and all the way down so that our tummy is on the floor again and we lift our hands up in the air. So if I do a couple to show you, so it would be one, hands, two, hands. Okay, so we make sure that our tummies are on the floor and our hands are in the air. Okay, do you think you can do it? Okay. Are you ready? We've got to do five. We'll try and do them all together. So try and do them at the same time as me because we don't want to do them too quickly. Okay, are you ready? So we are going to do five. Let's get into our position. Okay, are you ready? We're on our tummies with our hands in the air. Hands in the air, everybody. Ready and go. It's got one down and hands in the air. Good, two, 
down, and hands in the air, good, three, down, hands in the air, good, four, down, hands in the air, and we've got one more to go, ready, five, down, hands in the air, good, well done, now that's how I do a press up, okay, I'm going to kneel over, here we go, so, Let's eliminate that one. Oh, we've only got two left, haven't we? We've only got two left. Let's see what it lands on. Let's spin it. Oh, yeah. It's landed on mountain climbers. Now, we did this last time, didn't we? I will show you quickly, just in case you have forgotten. So, mountain climbers, we're in that press up position that we were just in. So it's like this, but we're bringing up our knees. I've got my trainers on today, so it's a lot easier. So we bring up our knees towards our chest, don't we? How many have we got to do? Let me see. We've got 10. 10 to do. Are you ready? Remember, we all do it at the same time. So I will keep count and you can keep count with me. Okay, are you ready? Into position. Ready? Steady. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! There we go. That was very good. You're doing so well. I hope you're keeping up. Brilliant. Now then, shall we eliminate that one? Well, if we eliminate that one. We've only got one left, haven't we? We've got one left, so we kind of know what we've got to do. So let's spin it. And what we've got to do are five squats. Now then, I don't know if you can remember how we do a squat. Okay, so we start off by standing with our legs about shoulder width apart. I don't want to bang into my chair, so I'll move forward a little bit. And then, so we've got quite wide legs, but not too wide. Now, the aim of a squat is to try and keep the whole of your foot on the ground. So I don't want you going on tippy toes. Try and keep the whole of your foot on the ground as we go down. So we're going to stick out our bottoms as far as we can. And then we're going to go down at the knees as far as we can and then up, but keeping our foot on the ground. And we can put our arms in front of us to help us. It helps us to balance. Okay, how many have we got to do? We've got to do, we've got to do five. Okay, five this week. Although these numbers may go up in the weeks to come. So we're just going to do five today. Okay, so get your feet ready, about shoulder width apart. Remember, keep the whole of your foot on the floor to um, stabilise you. Okay, are you ready? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Brilliant, have we done it? We've done it, haven't we? There are no more left. That was fantastic. So can you give yourselves a pat on the back? Because I think you've done really well today. Give yourself a pat on the back. Excellent, brilliant job, well done. Right, class one and two. I hope you enjoyed that today. I hope you did, I did. And I have fun when I exercise, I have fun. And it makes me so happy. It gives me a happy heart when I exercise. And I hope it does with you as well. So just a short one, but just short exercise is really good, isn't it? As well as going for long runs and doing lots of exercise, doing short exercises is brilliant too. So make sure you get out and about, get some fresh air, have a good run around. Um, we've got Bible study to do today. We've got science to do today. So have a little look at that on your journal. Um, hope you have a lovely weekend. And um, I'll see you soon. So bye for now.